how are you? I hope you're good. So today I have a Harry Potter box for us to have some Harry Potter goodness because I feel like we all probably need a little bit of that in our lives. The box that I'm talking about is the Wizarding Trunk aka uh, Aska Box or used to be Aska Box. They went through a name change and this is actually their like a special edition that's back to Hogwarts or back to school. This was kindly sent to me in exchange for an honest review which you guys know I always will be. The only thing is that I don't know how much this cost so it's gonna be hard for me to tell uh, to say at the end whether the value was there but let's cr cross that bridge when we get to it and let's just open this and see what's up first of all the new look i dig it i have a feeling there might be like a notebook or a stationary item because obviously it's like back to school so that's sort of where my mind goes but that might be because i am a planner <laughs> what else what else what else what else it could be Something to do with uh, Hogwarts Express, obviously, because you gotta get on the train to go to Hogwarts. I honestly don't know, so let's just get on with it. So first of all, we have a letter of what's inside, so we're not gonna look at that just yet. But on the other side, it says, it says, Hello dear, I hope your first day back is going well. Oh, it's like a letter from your mom. So there's a whole... That's cute, so it's like getting... I will post at the first day of school. Aww. Next up is this little print and it's of Forbidden Forest or the... I think this is Forbidden Forest. Um, oh yeah, because there's a little Thestral there. And it's Hogwarts at night. It's really pretty. It's an unusual size. If you do have a planner, you could definitely stick that in there. But that's pretty cute. Next goodie is... Ooh, oh, I like this. P is for prefect, so it's a prefect badge, but they have designed their own, and I kind of dig it. Um, I assume this is going to be a house-related item, so if you are of a house other than Gryffindor, this would be an, in an accordant color. Um, but it's a prefect badge, it's a hard enamel, so I really like it. It's really nice quality. It's different from the ones I've seen before, but not different enough that you don't recognize what it is. I really like it. Moving on, I see some edibles. That sounds like different kind of edibles. I'm <laughs> just, I just mean cookies. Oh, this is from your mom as well. So she sent us some cookies, butterscotch cookies. Don't forget to write if you get the homesick. That's so sweet. I know it's not real, but it's so sweet. So I piece of cake bakery and the ingredient list is on the other side. I will definitely consume this the next time I'm reading and I have a cup of tea and I am desperate for a snack. Next up we have, oh we haven't had one of these in a while, so this is their uh, tea tents from Fandom Blends. Uh, tea at the hut. This pumpkin spice tea. Check this out. <laughs> you know I still haven't tried pumpkin spice lattes or anything. Oh. Oh, interesting smell. I mean, smells like gingerbread. Is that what that is? Is that what like pumpkin spice is? I am intrigued. So this actually has hints of ginger, cinnamon, and cardamom. I don't actually know what cardamom is. It's a beautiful tea though. I will be trying this actually. Color me intrigued. Then we have a butter brew. There's like a butter, butter beer, butterscotch theme going on. A little lip balm. I love myself lip balms because I use them all the bloody time. Uh, Alchemy for the skins, butter brew lip balm. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's very sweet. It's like nice. And if you like confectionery scents, it is. It actually looks really nice quality. Very autumnal and like winter time. No, it does actually wear off a little bit, but it is on a stronger side. So. It could be like the tiniest bit less intense because obviously your lips are so close to your nose so it's just gonna like pack a punch but um, it looks like a really good quality one. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Potion of Peace, Lemon, Orange and Lavender Bath Salts. Oh, I thought it, I thought for sure this is gonna be a, the Cauldron Bath Bomb because we had that in a fairy loot and I know it's like a thing. I won't be able to smell it, but I don't want to open it until I want to use it. But lemon, orange, and lavender, honestly, I imagine this smelling really, really good. And obviously, if you don't take baths or if you don't like baths, uh, you can use it for like a foot soak or something like that. It has all of the ingredients 
right here as well to check if you're allergic to anything. Then we have um, Flitwick's Handmade in Idaho Dorm Room Roasted Vanilla Smoky Wood and Toasted Marshmallows. This is um, wax melts. Oh, that smells gorgeous. I don't have a Max Welter though. I don't know how common that is. Like, am I the only person left who doesn't have a wax melter? But this like almost <laughs> makes me want to get one. Oh, it smells so good. Then there's actually a hat and it says, oh, it says captain on it. It doesn't say Quidditch captain, but I feel like it's implied. I actually maybe prefer that it doesn't say Quidditch captain. Maybe it would have been nice if there was like a broom or something to like hint at it, but it's really, it's really cool. Let's see. Can you see that? Perfect. That's actually a cool item. I maybe would have preferred a beanie just because it's autumn and it's getting colder. Obviously not everywhere in the world, so. Then, ooh, this is beautiful. Their potions game is getting really good, I think. Calming potion, ooh, perfect for a new term. Um, or if you're me, just perfect in general, no matter if you're at school or not. <laughs> a potion used for calming the drinker. This potion tastes strongly of peppermint, aw. And it's really beautiful, it's like in this blue, like calm blue with this glitter inside. It's actually really soothing. I love that. Oh, and then we have a feather pen. I actually think we had one of them in um, one of the book boxes, but I can't mind if it was Owl Crate or Fairy Loot. Acceptance Quill, it says. Oh, cute. And next up, we have Start of Term Feast. Oh, struggle there for a bit. I, I promise you, I am literate. <laughs> oh, it's in Lumos Libertas. I've, I've seen that brand a lot of the times, but I've never had anything from them, I don't think. Um, and it's a room scrape, pumpkin, caramel, and sweet cream room spray. Okay, give me a pillow. I'll, I'll use my potions pillow. I'm gonna spray that, because I don't wanna... Okay. Again, it smells a little bit like a ginger house, but this one smells less like a ginger house. I cannot explain how this smells like. I suppose pumpkin, caramel, and sweet cream, but it is not a strong smell. I'm just sniffing my pillows. That's quality content for you guys. <laughs> But it's not a strong scent, which I actually do appreciate because obviously, which to me just feels like I can use it a bit more and I don't have to open the window if I spray it because some sprays that I have are a bit too strong for my migraine prone head. I like that. It's a very generous size as well and I like that it's like sort of amber color because it just feels like they wouldn't have anything clear glass in there probably <laughs> then oh my god i was right there's a notebook so this is the notebook that was in there the magical admittance book oh it's just a simple lined notebook it has an h on here this actually kind of shouts more like charmed like at the very beginning uh, it doesn't really scream hogwarts to me I personally don't really love this one as much as some other notebooks that I have received in the past. Maybe it's the style, maybe it's a bit flimsy. I am a notebook snob though, so I will say that. Um, I feel like there's absolutely nothing wrong with this notebook. I am absolutely aware that I am just very spoiled <laughs> when it comes to notebooks. I am a little bit of a notebook snob, so uh, I personally don't love this one. It does give me Charmed vibes, and Charmed is also one of my absolute favorite shows, so I appreciate it for that. <laughs> then we have another one of their prints, so let me just get this out of here. What's it gonna be? Ooh, it's another map. It's a back to school map. So this is a the route your train would take. That's actually pretty cool and it matches like the style, matches the previous map that I absolutely love. That one was done by In The Reason, if I'm not mistaken, this one is as well because it matches the style so much. And the very last item on the bottom, I believe, is maybe a tote bag, but it's very like a heavy duty one. Um, it says, back to the world of wizards, witches, and magical things. Oh, I like that. It's very simple. Obviously, there's no design. It's just words. But I sometimes prefer that. It's very heavy duty. So it's gonna... 
gonna be perfect for carrying <laughs> a million books in. <laughs> Seeing if the value is there is very difficult because I don't know what the price was. So I can't compare it because I didn't, I didn't check because I was going through stuff. <laughs> so. But let me tell you what my least favorite and then favorite items were. I think my least favorite item, I think the notebook and then amongst my favorite items, there is the potion, uh, the the prefect pen. I really like the, oh, oh god, <laughs> I really like the bad salts. I really like the room spray as well. I am legitimately excited to use the tea. I do actually really enjoy um, Askabox mix of items you can consume and use versus and the displayable pieces. I do know that not everyone would love like bath items or candles or room sprays or cookies and teas because it's something that you consume and obviously once you do that unless the, the packaging can be displayed like that's it gone but um i personally like a good mix because there's only a certain amount of things that i would like to or want to or can display so and i will say that majority of these items look like they have come from very small very small Etsy type businesses, which I always, always appreciate because it's it's good to support them. But with that being said, I am excited to see what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know what was your favorite item. What do you think overall about this? Is it something that you would have been happy to have or was it a miss for you? So let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome, stay kind, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.